weekly wisdom with Pamela. So if you caught the email, if you caught the post today, today is gonna to be all about fun, all about playtime. We're gonna have a good time here. So I'm gonna give everybody just a second to jump on. Um, I do see a couple people hopping on here, so that's good, that's good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So happy Wednesday, happy hump day. We made it, we're halfway there. And that is something that we're gonna talk about tonight. Remind me to do that later because that is something, it shouldn't be just Wednesday that we're excited because we're halfway there. We should be excited every day. So remind me to come back to that. All right. And it's good and it's good, yes. Okay, hi, how are you? So yes, if you're out there and you're joining me, give me a shout, let me know you're out there. If you're catching this on a replay, drop me a hashtag replay. As we're going through, if you have questions or anything coming up, totally drop them in the bottom. Um, as promised, we're gonna focus tonight on fun and manifesting and having a good time because on Thursday it is a new moon, so that is tomorrow. So if you've been feeling any kind of energies, um, the want to do something, this is when the intentions come on, this is when it happens. So new moon energy is super different than full moon. Full moon is the time to let go. So that is why we spent all last week clearing our energy for today. Okay, so last week, if you were here with me, I went live every day, Monday to Friday, and we talked about all of the things that you need to let go of now to fully enjoy your life. We talked about fear of failure, uh, constant self-doubt, living life to the expectations of others, the need for validation from strangers, and holding on to control. And I'm super proud of myself. I got all five of those without having to look them up. Um, so if you missed those videos, replays are available. Check it out. But tonight, tonight, we are talking about playtime. We are talking about self-care. We're talking about love, all of the good things that you now have all of this space for, for anything that you truly want in your life. Because with a new moon, this is your chance to manifest. This is your chance to set intentions. Because as the moon grows, so do exactly what you want. So we're gonna tune in tonight. So go ahead and get yourself into a comfortable seated position, whatever that is for you. I want you to roll your shoulders all the way up to your ears and roll them back. Bring your hands to the tops of your knees. If you were sitting in a chair, please bring your feet flat on the floor. Go ahead and close your eyes. And just take a couple of big, deep belly breaths. And I want you to really focus on how you feel right now. As you exhale, let go of any to-do lists and traumas and dramas from your day. Go ahead and roll those shoulders up to your ears and roll them back once more, releasing any tension, breathing space into those areas of your body. Big belly breaths. So as you inhale and exhale through your nose, Feel your breath rising all the way up from the ground. Really fill the belly big. Breathe into all those spaces and crevices. Feel the belly widen, the back widen. Feel the breath rise up through your solar plexus all the way up into the diaphragm. Fill up the lower part of your lungs all the way up into heart center. When you get all the way to the top, go ahead and exhale all the way back down. Nice and slow, biggest breaths you can take. Again, every time you exhale, let go of something that is no longer serving you. Relax the energies in the body, the resistance. And as you inhale, I want you to focus on one thing you really want to manifest this new moon. Maybe it's an energy, maybe it's a change, maybe it's a new house, a new car, a new job, whatever it is for you. Bring that right to that third eye, that space right between the brows, focus there. And as you inhale, breathe in that intention Exhale nice and slow. Focus there. Just another minute. Go 
Good, and slowly open up your eyes. You feel that good energy, you feel exactly what you want. You can have it, but it starts with you. And this is what I wanna talk about tonight. Now, how many of you out there go through your everyday life and you just feel drained, okay? I'm talking tired, I'm talking sleepy, I'm talking stressed, you maybe have back pain and shoulder pain, you don't sleep good. How many of you forgot to eat today because you were so busy working and going through the motions that it was like, oh, lunchtime came and went because you worked right through it. These are the things that happen on our everyday lives, right? We get up every morning, we have our coffee, we brush our teeth, you take a shower, you put your suit on or dress on for work. If you're working from home, maybe you put your PJs back on. I don't even know if you showered this morning. And then you go through your day for your eight hours. And again, you're working so hard. Maybe you ate at your desk, you ate on the road. Um, you didn't actually take the time to sit there and be like, hey, this is enjoyable. You're counting down those minutes till five o'clock. And then you get there and now it's time you, you have a chance. Even though it's Wednesday, you're like, I can go out, I can do things. But what do you do? You go home, you eat something and you go to bed because you're exhausted. So you can just what, get up all day tomorrow and do it again? How in the world do you think you are gonna manifest any kind of happiness, any kind of fun in your life if you live like that every day? Do you see what I'm saying? So as much as I probably sound like a fortune cookie, you cannot pour from an empty cup. It doesn't happen. And that is something I am working on right now myself. It's something I'm struggling with because I let myself get into that same type of behavior. The last couple of weeks I've been struggling. I don't know if it was the full moon, it was my own energy, if it was me getting back to space. I mean, I've really been journaling around this right now. So if those of you that really do know me, you know I've always struggled with anxiety and depression and like I said, doing things like this was never gonna happen, right? Well, I've noticed the last couple of weeks, it has been a struggle for me. I've been trying to do the things, all of the things, right? Trying to get up early, trying to work out, um, journaling, eating right, going to work, trying to put my energy into work, um, getting done, wanting to go out, but too tired sometimes, just Netflix and chilling when I should be reading or going for a walk. And I've been struggling. And I think we all go through periods of that, but I'm gonna be honest with you. So this is why this is hitting really close to home for me tonight because I feel a little bit like a fraud, kind of like the pot calling the kettle black because I have not been doing the best job taking care of me. I've been putting the energy out there to take care of others, helping others get through it, talking to you like this and telling you, yes, you could do it. And I'm sitting here like, fuck that. I didn't get up at five o'clock this morning. So let me tell you, this is something we are all gonna work on together is generating this energy, holding each other accountable, and making this happen, okay? So, like I said, tonight we're gonna talk about all about fun. So last week we went through all the things we wanna let go. I felt a good cleanse from that. I don't know about you, but I felt it. And tonight is all about fun. Now, how many times do you actually schedule the things that make you feel good? I'm talking, it can be huge, like spa appointments and massage and nails and hair. Maybe it's small things, like telling yourself I'm gonna go for a walk every night. I'm gonna get up early every day. I'm gonna make sure I actually eat lunch during the day. I wanna set up uh, my meal preps. I wanna do the yoga, you know, three days a week. How many of you actually write that stuff down or make the actual appointments or RSVP to a class and actually go? Huh? Now let's get real. Most of us, that is the worst muscle that we don't use is the one to build self-trust. That is the one we're not looking at, okay? And that's the one we need to start working on. Because again, we work our regular muscles, we go to the gym, we build our arms, we do all these things, we use our brains, we listen to podcasts and try and learn, but we're not building that self-trust muscle. That is something that truly exists. So that is what we're talking about tonight. Because, I mean, think about it. You make doctor's appointments, not me. I'm gonna be that girl, not me, what? Give me a little more. Because <laughs> I wanna know. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, yeah, so we make our doctor's appointments, right? And we go. We make a dentist appointment, and we go. We schedule the school conference for our kids, and we go. We could bear not show up to these things because we know we're gonna get charged if we miss an appointment. We know we're gonna make our kid look like an idiot if we don't go. We make these commitments to ourselves, and we do it. So now, right now, you're building that muscle that's saying, I can take care of others, I can people please, I can do, and I'm gonna make these commitments. But the one that you're lacking, the one that you're not actually working out is the one that's attached to you. So think about it that way. 
Now you've heard me say it and I'm gonna say it again because I'm on that kick right now. When you do not actually take action on the things that you said you were gonna do, like you mentally told yourself, I'm gonna get up early. You mentally told yourself, I'm gonna journal every day this week. You mentally told yourself, I'm gonna do yoga three times this week. You mentally told yourself, I'm gonna go out and go for a walk every night. And then you don't do it. Do you know what that does to your mind? Do you know what that does to your body? Hmm? Well, I'm gonna tell you anyways. So what that does is you are now losing trust with yourself, okay? There's that little thing inside of you, this little voice, if you will, your own Jiminy Cricket, that you are now, you're letting down, you're disappointing, you're getting rid of. I mean, you spend all this time firing yourself up to say, I wanna do good things, I'm gonna take this new moon and set my intentions, I wanna put the energy out there, and then you flake. I mean, that's like going skydiving and having the best parachute and taking the classes and watching the videos and all this stuff. You get up there and then you don't jump out of the fucking plane. What was the point? What did you do? You prepped yourself like crazy and then didn't do anything about it. And that is step one. And that is where I am now. So like I said, I was always in this habit. I mean, Mel will tell you, he's here. He was texting me every day and I would go to the gym and go to the gym and go to the gym. And then I'll be honest, it wasn't really, I was doing pretty good. And then it wasn't until like COVID hit that I felt like everything just stopped for me. Like when I started working from home, like that's when this shit happened. Cause then I'd get up in the morning and I'm like, well, nobody's gonna see me for five days. So I can stay in my pajamas. I don't have to shower this morning. I don't have to do these things. And that's when I started to lose the other stuff. Cause there was no point in me getting up at five anymore. Cause I didn't have to leave the house at eight for my commute. So I'm like, I can push that back a little bit. And then you get up and then you don't really want to do the things that you were doing because you're wondering if what's the point. And the point is, to come back to it, is we need to have fun in our lives, okay? We need to stop worrying about what kind of, like I said, we talked last week about being, you know, any kind of failure and just work towards the results, the good stuff, right? So that's why I've been making commitments this week to get my shit together. And that's what I want you to do too. I want you to start making commitments to yourself. And then what you need to do is you need to take those commitments and find someone to tell that is gonna hold you accountable. And I'm not talking like holding your hand or checking in with you, but you know, it's like that one person at the office that if you say, I'm gonna go see this movie or whatever, you know you're gonna come in Monday and they're gonna be like, hey, how was that movie? Because they're nosy and they wanna know and they keep tabs on you and it's like one of those things. We all have one of those people in our lives. Find that person and tell them what you're gonna do because you know they're gonna ask. And then when they ask and you didn't do it, that's gonna be the shitty feeling that you're gonna have and you're like, oh, I should do that. And you're not gonna feel good. That's when you're gonna look yourself in the, in the mirror and be like, I am not a priority. I mean, how sucky does that sound when you tell yourself that? So you can keep your dentist appointment, you can keep the doctor's appointment, you can keep all these other things, but you can't take care of yourself. That doesn't make any sense. And like I said, that's where I am right now on a personal level, that is exactly where I am at right now. So like I said, this week I have made it a priority to be able to get back on that horse, so to speak, okay? So I've been committing to getting back up at five, even though I don't have to, okay? Cause like I said, I'm working from home. I don't have that extra commute that I have to deal with and these things, but I still wanna do it. I pulled back out my uh, marathon trainer guide so I could start doing that again. I'm gonna start going running and I'm not gonna do it at night anymore. I'm gonna do it in the morning. I'm gonna wake myself up. I'm gonna jog that energy up, you know? Um, oh, that was no pun intended either, by the way. And then I've also made the commitment, cause like I said, I mean, I teach my regular classes. You know, we have meditation Mondays now and the tune in Thursdays and the Kundalini's on Tuesdays and things, but I'm making a commitment to my own practice. So I need teacher training refresher this weekend and this weekend was module four and that's all about the healing path. So we talked about the literal sense, like what the body does and the glands and the organs and the stuff. And that was cool. We also talked about the mental and the spiritual side and honestly what that healing does for the body when you actually make the commitment to you, when you do your practice, when you meditate and do the yoga and eat right and all these things and how good you feel. And then that's why it's so silly because you know how good you feel when you do it and you know how bad you feel when you don't. So why the hell don't we do it all the time? Because again, it comes back to that space of, again, we're not making time for us. We're putting other things first. And that's what's stopping us from this ability to, again, manifest everything we desire, put our intentions out there and really have what we want. 
Because not everything, the universe is not gonna drop everything right in your lap, contrary to popular belief. Just because you say, I want something, you put it on a vision board, you write it down, you know, 55 times for five days, does not mean the universe is gonna do it. Trust me, I've tried, it doesn't work that way. You also, as much as you're putting that energy out there, you need to take small actions to prove to the universe that you are, are you're doing it, you're ready to receive it, you're ready to get out there. And like I said, that's where I've been failing lately is I haven't been doing the right things. I've been stepping back, like I said, I haven't been getting up as early, I say I wanna do something that I don't do it, I'm letting myself down. And then that energy, if you're someone like me that has anxiety and depression, that energy gets amplified, okay? And unfortunately, if you've had it as long as I have, it's almost like being addicted to it. I'm speaking on a literal sense. You can be addicted to things like alcohol, drugs, sex, food, you name it. But you can also be addicted to the mental side of things because that's what keeps you safe. Like my brain believes that if I stay in this state of like, you know, what if this happens? What if I don't do this? I need to rest. I need to re-energize even more and more and more. If I stay in this space of anxiety and depression, it's keeping me safe from taking risks and doing things that are gonna change my state. And that's the biggest thing. So we have to change our state. We have to change our emotion. We have to take action because otherwise you stay exactly where you are. So let's talk about scheduling fun. And I literally mean scheduling fun. I want you to start scheduling. I want you to pick one or two things, nothing crazy. I'm not telling you to change your whole lifestyle because then it never works. Because when you try and put in a hundred actions, you're gonna fail because that's way too much change overload for the brain. You can't do it. It's, imp it's I'm gonna say impossible for most people. Don't do it. I'm talking pick one or two big things that you wanna change in your lifestyle over the next two weeks. And I say two weeks because we're gonna go all the way to the full moon. So it's like two and a half weeks. I want you to take the next 14 days and pick two, one or two big changes that you wanna to commit to, that you were gonna tell yourself you're gonna do. And I want you to send them to me. I challenge you, send them to me and I am gonna hold you accountable. This is like getting two weeks of like free coaching. I want you to send them to me. You can drop them in the comments, you can DM me, you can email me, you know where to find me. I am here all the time. One or two things, I want you to send them to me. I am gonna be that annoying girl that is gonna ask you every day if you did them. And trust me, I am really good at that, I'm very annoying. So, I want you to pick one or two things and we're gonna do this together. So right now, let's see, what do I want to commit to? Since I have you all on here in front of a bazillion people, you guys can all hold me accountable. What do I want to commit to? Okay, let's go back to the 5 a.m. days because I know I felt amazing when I was getting up at 5 a.m. and got all this shit done before work. So I'm going back to 5 a.m. because I know that feels good. So my clock, we're gonna, I don't have a watch, I don't know why I pointed that. We're gonna set that till five. So I'm gonna do that every morning. We're doing that. I know I already made the commitment to do, uh, we're starting our new 40 day meditation challenge on Saturday. So that's something, but I don't think I wanna count that because it has to be done because there's a bunch of us. So it's not really for myself. So we're doing 5 a.m. What's the other thing I want to do? I'm going to commit to journaling every day. So no like break on the weekend, no forgetting to do it one day, every freaking day. So for two weeks straight, we're talking gratitude lists, affirmations, and whatever other journaling prompts that my coaches give me as I'm going. So every single day, and I'll have to take a picture and send it to you. So get ready for those 5 a.m. no makeup shots. Get ready for photos of my journal. We're doing this together. So those are my two. So I want you to pick one or two things that you're gonna do from now to the full moon so that you can build those energies, build the intentions, and get you whatever it is that you want. And then we get to the full moon, we'll talk about the next step, okay? All right, so that is all I've got for you tonight. I think I talked way too much, I can breathe now. Um, does anybody have any questions? Anything coming up, any comments, concerns, stuff, let me know. I'm here to help, that's what I'm here for. Um, next Wednesday, it's next Wednesday? No, it's not the last Wednesday. We've got one more before live Q&A night. So in two weeks, it's live Q&A night, so that's fun, that is always good. That's for your chance to jump on here and ask me anything, anything you want. And there's nothing that I won't answer. I made that promise to you guys. So you can literally ask me whatever you want. 
And if it's something that I truly don't know an answer to, I will find someone that does. Trust me, I've got lots of experts sitting around me. Experts. Um, starting Monday, I will check, it, check with you in the AM. Oh, fuck that. Start tomorrow. <laughs> no, we're starting. This isn't, this challenge doesn't start Monday. Oh my God, I'm glad you said that because that's bullshit. Okay, so look at this one. So that's the thing. So you're making these commitments. Why do we always feel this need to start on a Monday, right? Why do we always feel this need to start on a new month? Why do we always have to say, well, I'll wait till this before I can do this? Why don't we ever just do these things that we want to do? Like my mind blows open every time somebody says that to me. Mel, I'm off from work tomorrow. <laughs> mm, sorry, totally jumped to conclusions. But you know what? It doesn't matter because it's the truth though. So yes, Mel, you don't have to message me at 5 a.m. tomorrow. We'll let you have your day off. Enjoy it. Um, but no, but on a serious note though, but that's something else too is when you don't commit, when you don't say you're gonna do something, when you don't put it out there, most people don't do it. That's the thing, okay? Um, most people won't do it. The second you commit, the second you make the appointment, you tell someone you're gonna do it, you make it happen, that is when you're gonna stick to it. Because that's the worst thing, that's often the biggest culprit of not taking action is we don't make a commitment. And yeah, I know commitment's an ugly word. I know responsibility is a heavy word. I know these are words that are probably not in your vocabulary right now, but think about it. That's why you are where you are and why you're probably sitting there not happy. Okay? You have to make the commitment. Like I said, you make a dentist appointment, you go. You make a doctor's appointment, you go. You make your kid's school appointment, you go. You, your job tells you you gotta be there nine to five, well guess what, you fucking go. So do that for yourself. Screw waiting till Monday, screw waiting till next month. This is now, like you have to be here now to get your results. You have to take action. You have to change that flow. There's no reason to wait. Nothing says you have to wait till Monday to start. That is like the biggest myth ever. And if you say that, I got news for you. You're gonna get to Monday, you're gonna miss Monday. And you know what you're gonna freaking say? I'll just wait till next Monday. We'll do it on a new week. And then do you see the same never ending wheel? This is what happens. So yes, no, we're not waiting till Monday people. I'm talking, pick one or two things, you are committing to and we're starting this now tomorrow right now like if i wasn't on instagram live right now i would show you i'd personally set my alarm clock and show you but i can't do both so it's not happening but yeah no we are starting this now no excuses no waiting till monday no waiting till i buy a new journal no this no that no whatever commitments you make to you start now start changing your state start training your brain to accept the new behaviors don't push it off and then not keep the commitment. And then guess what? You just messed up that trust muscle again. You just let it get all saggy and get all gross. Let's activate it. Let's activate that energy. Let's set the intentions. Let's get what we want. Why not? Don't wait till Monday. Seriously, one or two things, pick them, send them to me, and I will start my craziness with you tomorrow. <laughs> all right. So on that note, yes, I, you do not have to wake me up tomorrow. I will do it myself. Um, my cat will keep me accountable, I promise. But otherwise, you guys have an amazing rest of your Wednesday. Um, I'm going to try and do more live streams more often. Probably the same time every night. Um, but I'm going to try and do some more stuff. So if there's more things you'd like to hear about, anything coming up for you that you'd like me to touch on, because like I said, if it's happening to somebody, it's probably happening to more than just yourself, trust me. That's why I tell you, ask the questions, put it out there, because like I said, you're not alone. We're all there. Like I said, I'm there now. So if you have anything coming up, like I said, let me know. Um, and like I said, I want to start doing a little bit more with that, but I want to know more of what you guys want to hear about. Maybe it's yoga, it's meditation, it's more holistic modalities, it's more mindset work, any of that. Just let me know what you're thinking about. Um, and just to go through my quick little spiel, if you grab the links in my bio, if this is something that's resonating with you, you know, the idea of accountability and changing your state and getting it together. Like I said, I revamped my one-on-one -on -one coaching program. So that is open, the doors are open. Lots of space available. Like I said, I've got three spots left at my current pricing. Once those are gone, I am doubling my rates. So letting you know now. And if they don't sell by the end of September, my rates are going up anyways. So if you wanna take advantage, now's the time to do it. Um, Mindful Movement Tribe doors are always open for the membership site. That did increase, so that is now up to 55 a month. 
but that includes all the classes, the mindset work, the group coaching, and that is an amazing intimate group of these amazing ladies. Um, so definitely check that out. And then if you're just looking for more videos, more trainings, more fun, you can catch even more in my private Facebook group called Vibrant, Carefree, and Fabulous Females, or jump on my email list because I do put exclusive content in there as well. Again, all of these links are in my bio. Just click the link and then pick the appropriate tab. If you can't find something, something doesn't work, let me know. I don't bite, I promise, okay? And I really can't do it through a screen, so you're good. All right. So you guys have a great night. I will see you tomorrow. I'll let you know how my 5 a.m. goes. Like I said, look out for those no makeup shots and journaling pages. Bye, guys.